So guys, no doubt, well, the best patch that's ever hit the game is right here. This patch increases the legendary loot drop chances and so much more. Today we get into everything today's patch offers. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. So last week I covered, uh, well basically their information on a new patch. That patch now arrives today. Today we go through everything the patch brings to the game. So let's get into their post. They start with, we've made some changes to their legendary drops. Legendary drop rates across the board increased by 100%. Legendary level brackets have been removed so that all legendary items can drop at any level. Previously, some items could only drop from enemies of certain levels or above. For example, the UGate gate cowl could only drop from enemies of a level 48 or higher. Legendary anti-duplication system implemented. This system will mean that if a character has an item in their inventory or stash and a duplicate item is rolled, the dropped item will be re-rolled once. Note that this system does not guarantee that every drop will be unique, rather it is designed to provide a second roll at avoiding a duplicate. So basically what this means is, let's say you have an amber vault in your inventory and one drops, you won't ever know it's dropped because it will re-roll to another legendary. Because the game knows you already have that legendary, so it's re-rolling it to try and give you a legendary you don't have. If you have every legendary in the game though, this system won't really make much of a difference. Okay, so scripted boss loot, Chrysalloid and Yagak are now able to drop non-class specific legendary harmies. This change will improve the variety of items in the campaign. Previously, these bosses would only drop a selection of legendaries, the same pool that was available in the demo as well as the cannibal helmet. The luck system has been improved and players should no longer experience very long droughts without a legendary item dropped during endgame. The base scaling of legendaries dropping through higher difficulty levels still applies, so you may still want to farm as high as possible. Ok so they go on to general patch notes. On consoles added extra options and settings for controller customization, including dead zones, look sensibility, acceleration and legacy layouts. This is actually quite a big deal. So pretty cool. On Xbox improved signing times. Epic Store version fixed an issue that was preventing the pre-order House Rangers gear from unlocking as intended. Made improvements to multiplayer connectivity, fixed an issue that was causing old inventory items to be marked as new. Wow, best fix. <laughs> Ever. Best fix ever. Fixed a bug that prevented players from running if they were stunned while using the Trickster Cyclone skill. Second best fix ever. It really is, I mean I had this problem so much it's unreal. Fixed a bug that caused the alpha lurker enemies to be able to one hit kill players under certain circumstances. Fixed a bug that caused the scrap grenade projectile to be blocked by dead enemies. Fixed a bug that caused feed the flames ash effect to not trigger properly in multiplayer. Fixed dead bug that caused weapon mod uh, Revenous Locust to not deal damage if used together with the Weightlessness mod. Mitigated an issue whereby players could get stuck in an animation after using Gravity Jump in multiplayer and general crash fixes. Extra note they state, we have more news on the second run of the appreciation package very soon and we'll deploy it when we've run a few more tests on it. We're hoping for it to be ready by Thursday, but we'll confirm this on the day. And that's what we have today guys for this patch and what's new in the game. Let me know your thoughts on this down below in that comment section. I will jump on and try these myself. I may even stream either tonight or tomorrow but we will see. Probably tomorrow though because England are playing tonight. But yes guys I hope to see you there. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more outriders be sure to subscribe. And hopefully I will see you on that next. One.